Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing what I eat in a day on the road. So today we are actually heading to the Augusta Bird Center for the second time. Mom's here with me, obviously. I think so thankful because she's um, taking me both times. I'm gonna show you what we brought for snacks. So I have some cherries. One of my favorite snacks actually. So mom bought some at the grocery store and she got me addicted to them and now they are one of my favorite snacks to have. Especially I'm, an, I'm a person who is, a, I guess you could say a bored eater. So if, like, if you're just sitting there and you're like, I gotta eat something because I'm bored, those are super good and they're zero points. Um, and then we also have some veggie straws. These are the personal size um, bags. These are the cheddar cheese ones and they are super good one of my favorites and then we have some sprite zero for later so refreshing drink love these um and then we were we are going to stop for a lunch and i'll keep you updated on that and take the hot road and hop in first impression you open we should be close to the friends if you OPN, uh, engaging you on my agenda. Request my chariot, get ya. The doors OPN, uh, take the hot road and hop in. Uh. Monarch butterflies, you should open up. I'm trying to put your heart together, found it broken up. Going up a smoke, smoking up. Make sure the children in the house, she's inappropriate. The way she's approaching us, I disassociate, exfoliate. So I'm in the back right now my exam room but cute little story we were sitting out in the waiting room and this little old couple there i was like look mom they're cute being reading their books and then all of a sudden he goes we got any snacks it was the cutest thing mom pointed it out to me i just thought that was so sweet um but now we're waiting for um i guess the doctor to come back and take a look and see what is next Tell you I fall, fall, fall. Let your emotions fall, fall on me. Open up. Open up. Need to deep breathe. So I'm out of my appointment and everything went good. I'll tell you an update in a second. But we have some lunch. Woo! We got cool wraps and we have the honey roasted barbecue so this is i think two points and then the cool wrap is six points total so an eight point lunch and we also have some water so we stopped for a road trip pick me up to get us home with some energy um i counted this coffee it says the app i pulled it up and it said a large macchiato with skim milk and their sugar-free vanilla was three points but to be completely honest i usually don't count my coffee but just to let you know it is roughly three points i used almond milk even instead of skim milk so i'm guessing that would be less but depend depending if they had unsweetened anyway there's a bunch of differences that could change it so i'm not really i'm not really 100 sure but from the app it was saying three points open up, open up, open up. All right, so it is like 9.30, so it's clearly been a minute, but I was gonna show you my app for the day. Um, and I just showed you the clip of my dinner. I didn't film it, I just grabbed my phone real quick and showed you. Um, I counted that as 10 points because um, it looks like chicken quarters is like a thigh and a drumstick is six points on the app. And then um, there was cheese on the squash, um, my dad made and I counted it. It was like one fourth a cup. I, I'm guessing four points. It's kind of hard when you know other people make your food and you don't really don't know kind of what it is, but roughly around 10 point dinner, which is not terrible. Um, it is a higher point dinner, but still good. Um, and then the uh, so the sauce I use two of the honey roasted barbecue. So technically it's like five points, unfortunately, for two of those packets. And then six points for the cool wrap, and then three points. Like I said, I usually don't go with coffee, but we'll go with it. Um, so I have five points left. Oh, hello. Five points left for the day. Can you see it? So bright, I guess, sorry. So I never really finished um, about my doctor's appointment today 
So the doctor came in, um, the nurse, she took off the stuff, um, as you can see from the video. Um, and basically she said that she could see some spots that are healing, which is good. Um, but unfortunately there's a spot that is white and she's like, that's not really looking too good. Unfortunately, it's not, you know, what she wants to see. Um, so basically what's going to happen is that I have to go back in a week and I have to prepare myself to have surgery. So basically I go in you know, prepared to have surgery. If the skin doesn't come off like a scab, if it comes off like a scab, then we're fine, good to go, no open wounds. Now, if the open wounds like a quarter size, they're gonna be fine with it, but if it's still kind of opened, that's something that they have to be worried about, and that's when it, it comes to surgery. Now, with surgery, I will have to get skin taken from my hip and put on my burn. Um, so I would have two spots, and that means two weeks of bed rest. Um, to let those things heal, which many of you don't know, but I have a fear of surgery, so I'm just praying that all is well next week and that I will be fine. I just eat the unknown and not knowing until I get there, which is kind of like, it's very irritating because it kind of ruins my whole week just not knowing like what to expect next Wednesday morning. So I'll keep you updated on that. Hopefully um, that is not the case, but big, big prayers. I would really, really appreciate it um, to keep me in your prayers because that would be not fun. So hopefully it heals on its own. Gonna eat a lot of protein. One of the doctors recommended it. So lots and lots of protein. I have some protein shakes and of course incorporating chicken and wherever I can in my meals throughout the day. Um, but thank you for joining my day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course I love comments. I love to respond back to y'all. But I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.